What's up, world? Welcome to the Positive Truth, uplifting and positive news from a more progressive society. Tim, what are we trying to bring? Here at the Positive Truth, we're trying to bring awareness, empowerment, inspiration, optimism, and understanding the communities everywhere. That's what we do. This is the Positive Truth. It's Friday, so we're talking about an issue, why stand two facts about it, and how you can change it for the better. Every Monday and Wednesday, we talk about uplifting and positive news. It's audio only. Since it is Friday, you can check us out video wise on our Facebook or our YouTube, Facebook at the Positive Truth Podcast, or YouTube at Positive Truth OKC. I feel like a lot of people don't realize, they only check out the video episodes, they don't realize we still do the uplifting and positive news. If you're seeing more of it, audio only, you can check it out on iTunes, SoundCloud, or Google Play. And yeah. We're here today, Ken. How are you? I'm doing well, man. I'm very well said. I feel like, you know, you got it down now. Said it quick. We didn't, you know, take 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting better almost I a know. year in. Almost a year in, absolutely. So the topic today is the truth about the Confederate flag. I feel like we should just get into it right now. I'm with it. Why is this topic an issue, Tim? Well, what I got, I know we do our notes separately. What I got, well, um, the current battle actually goes back to the mass shooting in 2015. So when a self-described white supremacist named Dylan Roof shot and killed nine people in a predominantly black church in Charleston, South Carolina, um, Roof drew a lot of attention for, posting, uh, for posing with a Confederate flag in images that came out after the shooting. So that day definitely, you know, shot <laughs> a spark. And that definitely got people fighting for it. So it basically uh, spurred a, fi a fight within South Carolina about whether it should take down a Confederate flag that had flown at the state capitol for years. Um, the state eventually agreed to officially taking down the flag after it was unofficially taken down by activist Brie Newsom, which I see a lot of stuff on social media calls her Wonder Woman, which is pretty dope. Yeah. But um, basically since then, uh, many cities and states, particularly in the South, have been questioning their own Confederate symbols. I mean, the argument is simple. The Confederacy fought to maintain slavery and white supremacy in the United States, and it isn't something this country should honor at all whatsoever, but we can keep going. <laughs> Um, yeah, man, I mean, that's a, a tough little, a short little summary right there, what I got. I know you have a lot more for yours, why it's an issue, but you can go ahead and uh, spit that out. I, I mean, the Civil War ended in 1845 for a country that was around for four years. And it's a flag that's divisive for a lot of reasons. And so we can just get to that right now. Like, the Confederate States of America, they went through three different flags during the Civil War. And the flag that you see, that's flown today was not one of them. The rectangular flag with the X? Yeah, like, they had a battle flag, but like, the one that's flown with most people was never used. It was the Robert E. Lee, like, Army of Northern Virginia flag. That's the flag that everybody puts on and says it's a Confederate flag. So you're telling me that there's so many people out there that are rocking it and supporting it and they're misinformed? I'm being sarcastic, JP. I'm JPing right now. <laughs> I'm JPing. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> Usually I'm the, bad, I'm the one with the bad humor and the dry humor. I like it, Tim. I like it. But, I mean, that's the truth. Like, they went through three different flags, and that was never one of them. But their third flag was life against the Confederate flag that's flown today, except it had a white border around it. So, like, the flag that's known, uh, that's used today, wasn't even flown until basically the early 1900s. It was used by the second Ku Klux Klan from 1915 to 1944 in the film Birth of a Nation, which didn't exactly portray African Americans in a good way, and it's been persistent for the last hundred years. And it was flown by the Dixiecrat political party that used it just to be like, hey, we don't like separatism. Like, we want more segregation. Do not bring us together. No integration at all. Like that's that's when the flag that most people consider the Confederate flag was used in America. So, when people were fighting for equality, they were like, "Hey, we're not about this." Yes, it was it was a symbol. That's that's when the modern flag was used. It was sometimes it was used before then. So, in the early or late, eh, let's say early 1900s, Civil War veterans were they were feeling they were thinking about the other veterans that died. All their other like in mourning, right. and so they would all unify under these flags and take pictures for the lost soldiers that they fought with. Absolutely. But then after that, it was, it was mainly used by the KKK and the separatist movement of the Dixiecrats that didn't want 
it, it was used as a basically a flag to say stay in your place more segregation more racism and it's turned into this idea of like the southern flag like the southern pride almost people whenever i ask people about it sometimes i'm just showing southern pride that's all that it is <sighs> wish you knew the facts kid I mean, the facts are like just one in ten Amer Americans have a positive reaction to the Confederate flag. This is a poll in 2011. Fewer than a third have a negative reaction, and the majority say they have neither a positive or negative reaction to the, to the Civil War flag. So that's changing because it matters how you ask the question. So in 2015, they did it amongst all races. 57% of all Americans said it represented Southern pride rather than racism. And 75% of Southern whites describe the flag as a symbol of pride, while 75% of Southern blacks said it represented racism. Counterintuitive, like one side thinks it's pride, the other side thinks it's racism. And in October 2013, a YouGov poll said, basically the poll asked, do you think it's a symbol of racism or a symbol of pride or both? And it was mixed down the center, like 25% racism, 25% pride, 25% both, 25% didn't care. So it matters who you talk to. Absolutely. I mean, it's definitely a regional flag. You go to certain parts in the United States and people like it. They respect it. They'll fight for it. Then you go to other parts, like uh, Miss Bree, whenever she took down you know, the flag in South Carolina, they don't care for it. And that's why we have to talk about it, JP. That's why this is a good topic to talk about, because it's all over the news. People are fighting for it. People are upset. Our president of the United States I mean, comments, this is dumb. What are we going to do, take down a George Washington statue next? Like, there's a history behind it. And obviously, we know he does not know the history behind it. He also doesn't know the facts behind it because he's obviously... Let's keep it positive, Tim. Let's keep it positive. Let's move on. <laughs> Anyways, back to your facts, what you're saying. Well, not enough people are caring about it. That's what I'm noticing from your facts. A lot of people do care, but there's people that obviously want to support it, but then there's a lot of people, or the same amount of people that just don't care, like it doesn't bother me seeing it at all whatsoever. Do you think that's a problem? Or is that a problem? That's a better question. It's definitely a problem, but let's look at it like from a different perspective. If you ask these same questions about the Nazi flag, you're going to get a lot more of a negative reaction. Because it's, it's, it's American enemies doing something to a small group of people and like, even though they were Jews, there was also some minorities there and some like, white Europeans in there that were just resisting Hitler, resisting the Nazis. So flying the Nazi flag is seen as a universal bad thing. They were on the wrong side of history. And people don't feel that way with the Confederate flag, which is oddly, dis I, I find it disturbing because if we're being honest, everyone that does this podcast is a minority. We're all people of color. I remember the first time in my life I saw someone wear the Confederate flag. It was my freshman year in high school, and he had a belt buckle. And he was on our basketball team. He was the only white person on our basketball team. And we had practice on first hour. And I remember looking at it, and like, I've seen that before. And then it hit me, and I was like, yo, what are you doing, man? We apologize about that ambulance. <laughs> it's all good. I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, I mean... My dad bought it, like, they always fly the flag. I was like, yo, like, you know that right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I just, that's what I said. I was like, yo, like, but I was like, why does he fly that? Your dad doesn't like black people? He's like, no, nah, I don't like, he's like, why are you calling me racist, JP? And I was like, because the flag is this, like, they fought a whole war over economic oppression of a people, of people of color, black people. And so, like, I said that to him, and then another person on our team that's, I would say, a little more aggressive than I was like, you better take that off. And he never wore it again. So I, I, we grew up in minority communities. I never saw this. Absolutely. That, that makes sense for you, for sure. I mean, at U.S. Grant, well, I shouldn't be saying school now, but whatever. They know. <laughs> <laughs> well, at, like, you know, we went to two different high schools. In middle school, I definitely didn't notice it too much. Maybe every now and then, but I didn't pay attention. In high school, I started noticing more. And obviously, like you said, you had a friend that was a little bit more aggressive. It's the same thing. You better take that off or you better not wear it. They wore it once and you wouldn't see it again because, again, some people know what this stands for. And it may not even stand for that in all reality what they think it is, but it still offends them. So, so let's talk about that. So they're talking about Southern pride. So people that defend the flag, they say Southern pride. Why are you putting pride in something? So 
Like that happens all the time. Like at work, people ask me where I'm from. And I always say I'm from the south side of Oklahoma City. I don't say I'm from Oklahoma City. I say I'm from the south side of Oklahoma City. Because I want you to know I'm a black man in America. I came from an area that you're probably scared to go to. And I succeeded and I came out of it. Like there's some positivity that comes out of there. And there's Who's a lot. Not? There's a lot of like poor people living there. And it's like they're not all just gang members. Like there's a lot of reasons like they're like there's a lot of systematic oppression that happens there. Like you're going to understand where I'm from. That's why I say I'm from the south side of Oklahoma City. You get that same feeling from like people in the East Coast, like I'm from New York. I'm from the Bronx. Mm. I'm from Queens. Those are very different places. I'm from the West Coast. I'm from Chicago. I'm from LA. So that's what but for Southern, like you never hear somebody somebody be like, I'm a West Coast person. Like they always they put it to a small place. Absolutely. So with, with this flag, it's like Southern pride. What they're really saying, what I what I get from it, is a stay in your place, minority, stay in your place, because that's what it's always been used for by the KKK, by the separatist movement. So another good example of this, like Kid Rock, he's running for Senate or something in Michigan. He's doing all these shows, and he like comes out and he talks to everyone. He like gives like these speeches, and then he performs a concert. And he wrote a letter to the black people in Michigan. And he performs every single one of his concerts with the Confederate flag in the background. But he's writing this open letter to black people. And then I, and it's just like anytime I see that, I'm looking at his speeches and I'm trying to be open minded and I'm seeing this symbol of hate. For me, it's a symbol of hate. Absolutely. Behind him. And I'm just like, why should I listen to anything you want to say? He's performing to all white people. They're basically approving of all these things you're saying, and you're saying all these black people, all the, the blacks need to do this. The Mexicans, the illegals, which should, you shouldn't even be mm-hmm. saying illegals. Absolutely not. And so, like, like, as a minority, I can think of so many times in my life where I've seen that flag, and I'm just like, they don't like me. Like, another perfect example, I know I'm talking, but... No, you're good, I'm listening. <laughs> Fourth of July, two years ago, we're in Mustang, Oklahoma. Two or three years ago, I don't know sister or brother-in-law stay out there. My brother-in-law is like a really good quality person. I've always looked up to him because the way he treats other people. So we're popping fireworks and we're doing it by the street to stay away from the house. And so we don't pop fireworks when the cars come. And he's you know, like, he's always a really good person. He's waving at people. So I'm trying to be like him. I'm trying to be polite and wave back. That's like the opposite of me. I ain't waving at nobody. <laughs> so I'm waving at this car and I wave and I look at the car and like, I can see the person, it has this Confederate flag, and he's smiling at my brother-in-law, and he looks at me, and he just squints, he gives me this look, and I'm just like, I went, I did one of these. <laughs> and in my head, I was like, oh yeah, they don't like me. Like, I could just tell because of this flag in the back. Right. And some people would be like, just because you're not fly- flying this, just because you have a Confederate flag doesn't mean you're racist. Well, that flag, like, the flag that wasn't even the Confederate flag, like, it's only been used for racism in the, in the past. Every time I see it, I see hatred and bigotry. I see stay in your place. So like we have the Kaepernick thing going on right now, which is a black man kneeling in a quiet protest among saying that, you know, black people are minorities are killed more than white people by the police. Mm -hmm. All he's doing is raising awareness. You can think he's doing it wrong, but he's doing a quiet protest. You can be mad because he wore the pig socks. You can be mad because he didn't vote. But the goal of that is, I'm raising awareness for an issue. And these same people are waving this flag saying you're disrespecting the flag or waving Confederate flags being like, you don't respect the flag. You don't stay in your place, Kaepernick. We don't like this. And I just look at it and I'm just like, yeah, like, there's a reason you're saying stay in your place. It's no different than what happened in the civil rights movement during segregation. And you're flying this flag and all I feel is hate coming from you. Absolutely. I mean, everything that you just said right there, was, you're absolutely right. And it is, I didn't really take it as stay in your place for myself personally, but now hearing you and, and why, I mean, it, it does make sense. Like, stay in your place type of thing. And I definitely seen people wear the shirt or, you know, with the flag on. And I, I wave for sure. I'm a nice guy. I talk to anybody. I don't care. And I'm definitely a... Better than me. <laughs> I definitely, um, 
definitely notice I, I get looked at definitely on the street differently. Not by everybody that wears it, because I've met people that have worn the shirt. And again, it's just Southern Pride. I'm not racist at all, Tim. You know me, blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah, I do know you. Well, but what does that even mean? What does Southern Pride mean? Exactly. There's no, you can't go any farther than that. If I ever ask, so, like, what does that mean, though? Southern Pride, like. Are you talking about the food? Are you, like, no? Talking like, about the lifestyle? That's what I got told one time. What, what's the lifestyle? What's the Southern lifestyle? Talk to me about it for a second. Nope. It's minority stay in your place. It, I mean, they didn't go that far and like say you, that, but you're absolutely right. I mean, that's what that's the only thing you can assume out of it, especially being a minority and being... <laughs> like, what are you taking pride in? Like, like, what do you take pride in, Tim? You take pride in, like, the work you do, your coaching, sure. your students, the place you're from, absolutely. your Puerto Rican, all of this. These are small things. It's not just like you don't say like, "Oh, I'm proud of like Oklahoma, Texas, and Kansas." You know what I mean? Like no one does that. Absolutely. And then the, the thing that kills me is that this is not even the flag, the Confederate flag that everybody. Yes, it's like, not the Confederate flag. <laughs> it's not, man. It's not. It, you're, you're absolutely right. I think it's funny that people don't know that, which I didn't even know that, so I can't. You know, I'm laughing at myself, I guess, too. But <laughs> I had no idea it wasn't the Confederate flag. It was a, what the general. Uh, Robert E. Lee's flag. Yeah, it was his Army of Northern Virginia flag. It was the battle flag. The battle flag. It wasn't even the main flag, and we're repping it like Southern Pride. It it wasn't even, like, that's the worst thing. It wasn't even started repping until the KKK and the, like, Dixie Crap Party that's just basically saying, like, we'll be damned if you segregate us. They're ready to fight. Yeah. And then, like, 60 years, 50 years later, you're still waving this thing, Southern Pride, and you expect people to not feel offended by it? People are upset because they're taking down statues and flags from our state capital. Like, come on. Like, how could you be upset about that? It's America. Like, they lost. It was a, they fought a war on economic oppression of the people. They didn't want to give up that power. So when I say stay in your place, it's like, this is white power and stay in your place, all everyone else, all the minorities. That's why I see it. You might not be racist, but you like, I approve of white values. We will not assimilate with any other culture. We do not like assimilation here. You assimilate to us. This is what this flag means to me. You're basically tired of this flag. Yeah. Same thing. Like, this definitely should be a, I mean, like the, the Nazi flag, it's on the wrong side of history, right? So. Why isn't this one? Exactly, why, why hasn't this one? Nobody knows, there's no facts for that. Only you can answer that, people. <laughs> Only they can, for real. I'm, because a large, like, because our, basically America is so racist and we just refuse to admit it. I know. I, you know, I, I don't understand that. I, obviously, a lot of people, we talk about this in small groups. We talk about this on the podcast. I'm not saying everybody in America is racist. I'm not saying every white person in America is racist. But, but there's definitely systematic oppression that still happens to minority groups in America. Absolutely. Like, we were talking about Kaepernick. Like, police are more likely to arrest and kill minorities. Regardless, it doesn't matter. So if we're in this land of equality, why is this still happening? That's just one area of racism. We're not talking about the housing. We're not talking about the school system. We're not talking about how minorities are treated in the media. If you're a Mexican, all of a sudden you're an illegal immigrant. If you're a black person, you're a thug. And then you're waving this flag around and saying, oh. I take pride in it. Yeah. I take pride in saying and doing everything that I'm doing to you guys. It, it's not right. And this is something that definitely we need to get taken away. Taken out, not taken out of the history books because obviously we need to learn it so we don't repeat it. But this isn't something we should be saying. It's pride. But can you can you name another like flag that you can remember the St. Conquer? Like, can you think of the Yugoslavian flag? Can you think of the Ottoman Empire flag? Not at all, man. Like the only one you can think of is the Nazi flag and the Confederate flag, and one for just damning reasons. And the other one is just like pride. We gotta do better. It's time. I mean, we gotta talk about it. We, we have. That's to. why we're doing. Like, how, like the last part is changing it for the better. Like, if you take anything from this podcast, next time you see someone with the Confederate flag, that's me trying to be sarcastic over audio. <laughs> like, you know, it's not actually the Confederate flag, right? Definitely inform yourself. Like, let's let's Google some stuff. Let's pull out the smartphone. Let's Google what the Confederate flag actually looks like. And you know what? We may even have some out here. Who knows? And you just <laughs> ask the question, like, so, like, after they inform themselves about it, like, can you see why this would be offensive to someone else? And if they can't, I mean, Sorry. you're just going to have to show them through your actions. You're just going to have to convince another person. 
Some people just aren't going to be empathetic to other people's feelings in life, but most people will. Absolutely, I definitely agree with that. And yeah, like, all you can do is try to inform, and if they listen, they listen. If they don't, on to the next one, in all reality. There's a lot of people out there that, like you said, they won't listen. They're just going to choose to be, I'm not racist, I'm not a white supremacist, but this flag is prideful still, no matter what. That's not what it means to me. It, it doesn't matter what it means to you as an individual. It matters what it, the negative things that it, it makes everybody else feel because it's like taking you have a, a bunch of kids in a classroom kindergarten class you know what i got three suckers in here who's showing the most pride right now i'm gonna give these three suckers out to these kids that are showing the most pride let's just call it pride all right i'm gonna take these suckers back i'm gonna give these suckers again i'm gonna take these suckers back i'm gonna give them again and then we wait a couple weeks and we give these suckers back while the rest of the kids in the class, no suckers whatsoever. They're just sitting here like, yo, I'm getting treated differently for no reason at all. But these kids have these suckers and they're prideful about it, but I have no idea why. I'm going to let you know, hey, I don't like that you're getting a sucker all the time. Some people might, like, you know what, I'll share this. I'm not using the flag and the sucker as the same thing, but they might be like, hey, I'll share this. I was wondering where you were going with that. <laughs> sure, yeah. I, definitely, I definitely kept going in my head. And I was like, yo, I can't compare these two, but I'm going to keep going anyways. But, but it's just basically your commitment. <laughs> I definitely committed to that. I was like, yo, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's basically just making other people feel terrible for no reason at all and not caring about it. You can't do that. You can't decide, think I'm going to have a good life and expect great things to happen to you if you're constantly bringing negativity to the world. And whether people like it or not, there's a lot more minorities in the world than you think. <laughs> there's a lot more minorities in the world. And I'm emphasizing that because that flag has to go. It's, it's going to be time. Obviously, we're taking it down from our state capitals. We're taking it down from our buildings. People are, you know, fighting back. It's, it might not be tomorrow. It might be 100 years from now. But, but it's, it's going, going to happen. It's going to leave. And the quicker it leaves, the better. Absolutely. And we have to keep talking you, about you it. You can take pride in something else. You can have Southern pride another way. You can be the first person ahead of the curve. Be like, don't take your Southern pride in this. Take your Southern pride in this. And just do the same colors in a different way. Same colors in a different way? I guess, yeah. I wouldn't um, even do that. I would substitute it for, like, something else. <laughs> I would substitute it for, like, the food in the South, something, anything. Yes, anything. 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 I mean, that's pretty... If you take any way, anything away from this, is that it is offensive. The flag, the Confederate flag, is not the actual flag, and it's offensive to minorities. And eventually it's going to die out. The quicker, the better. Yeah. So if you think it's Southern pride, please um, listen to the facts. Google it on... Google it for yourself. Stop going to .orgs and saying those are facts because they're not. Um, you mean .orgs are facts? Like, not, not saying they're facts. There's, I, read, I went to a lot of websites doing this research, and uh, sorry, but the Confederate flag is going to stay or something. It's something, something .org. And I was like, I'm not looking at these .orgs anymore. <laughs> like, every time I go to something, something .org. What were you, look, were you on? A... I was looking at just random articles. But I, whenever I look up for facts, I pay attention to the EDU. Like, that's, like, the best way for me to know, hey, this is probably... A fact, but anytime I go to a .org, they're a lot of uh, opinionated. Did you find a quote, Tim? Uh, no, sir, but I can right now while you tell everybody where they can find us. But we have a fly that's attacking Tim. Yo. <laughs> Yo, it's coming at me. So this means it likes you better. I know when I was younger. I mean, that stings or? You know when I was younger, right? When my grandma would, uh, I'd be like, Grandma, why do I have mosquito bites and you don't have any? Because they like you more. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it like really made me like happy. My grandma also had this thing where like it took me much longer than I would like to admit to figure out. She she always used to tell me I was her favorite grandson. It took me till I was like nine to realize like, oh, your only grandson. And she like looked at me and goes, Yeah. You're still my favorite. And I was <laughs> like, Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so you can find us at <laughs> <laughs> It's underneath. Positive Truth Podcast, Instagram at the Positive Truth, Twitter at TPT underscore podcast. Yeah. Mm. We're also on SoundCloud, Google Play, iTunes, all that other stuff. It's underneath the description. I don't want to talk about it. Email us, email us, get yeah. a t shirt, all that good <laughs> stuff. Well, the quote for the day is Yesterday is not yours to recover, but tomorrow is ours to win or lose. And that goes perfect for what we're talking about. Let's make this a win and get rid of this flag, guys. We're out. Thank